If you want a place to stay, get cozy! If you want a place to play, get cozy! If you're feeling not okay, get cozy! If you want a shower, get cozy! Oh, hiya! I'm Lily. Thanks for joining me on my big chair. It's getting kind of hard to take a nap on my big chair with so much stuff in it. I really do have a lot of toys. I think I'm gonna clean up my toys today. You wanna hang out with me while I get everything clean? Okay, great. So we've got a lot of stuff over here. What's it? Oh, gross. How long has that been in here? I'm just gonna toss that over there. And let's see what else is in this big. What's back this way? Oh, a lion! He's trying to eat me. No! I have an idea. You can eat the pizza. That'll be a better snack. Wow, I had no idea that there was so much in my chair. I really do have a lot of toys. I remember hearing that there are some people in my neighborhood who don't have very many things, not even very many toys. But since I have extra, I can give these toys to them. Oh, but if I give them my toys, then I won't have these toys anymore. This is reminding me of a story from the Bible. It was not long after Jesus had lived on the earth and went to heaven. The followers of Jesus would meet together and help each other. Their groups were called churches. The apostle Paul wrote letters to the churches and told them that showing others love would make them more like Jesus. It's a lot easier to show love to our friends and the people we like the most. It's way harder to show love to people we don't know or people who aren't like us. Paul asked the Christians in the city of Corinth to collect as much money as they could and send it all the long way over to the Christians in the city of Jerusalem. Paul told the story about a farmer. If he wants to grow as many plants as he can, then he needs to take a lot of seeds and plant them in his field. That means he can't just eat the seeds or leave them in the seed bag. He has to plant them. Paul said that if you only plant a few seeds, then you'll only get a few plants. But if you plant a lot of seeds, then you'll get a lot of plants. Paul was teaching everyone that we need to share with others as much as we can. We can share because God gives us everything we need in the first place. So when God gives us the opportunity to share, we know that we should. Paul also said that God loves a cheerful giver. So we can be happy anytime we share with others. Do you know that Jesus showed us love when he put our needs first? When Jesus gave his love, then everyone could be saved from their sins. I think I'm gonna follow the example of the people in the Bible by being generous and giving to others. If I keep all of my toys, then it'll make me happy. But if I share my toys, then lots of people can be happy. When we share, we help others see how good God is. And it helps us remember that we trust God to take care of us. I'm gonna share as much as I can because God helps us be generous.